Hi everyone, this is Ronnie, one of your Neuro One TAs, and today we're going to talk about lesions, and um, you know, especially lesions in the two pathways, uh, -huh, uh the the spine lesions in the spinal cord that affect two pathways. Okay, so yeah, so um, mm -hmm. so first, let me remind you that there are two pathways, right? Um, so yeah, so there's the DCML pathway, which uh. Sorry, DCML pathway, oh, which encodes touch, and then there is URL, your spinal thalamic or anterolateral pathway, which encodes pain and temperature. Okay, now I'm not gonna go over these pathways again in detail because you know because you can read the book or go to the slides and memorize them yourself um, but I will kind of go over the uh, one m very important thing okay so let's draw a midline um, let's draw a midline of the body you know for each of these pathways right now for the spinal the la I'm sorry for the DCML pathway you know let's say you have a you have a, you know, an axon coming in from this part of your body, whether it's left or right. This will travel up the ipsilateral side, and it'll only decussate at the medulla, and then travel to S1. And this point of decussation is in the medulla, which is in the brain, right? It's it's part the medulla is part of your brain. However, the spinal thalamic pathway or the anterior lateral pathway you know, will decussate immediately and travel all the way up to S1. Now there are many, there are several synapses that I've left out, like this is not just one long axon. Um, you should definitely go to your book and check where these synapses are, for example in the medulla, in the VP nucleus of the thalamus. Um, know where those synapses are, but just for now, um, this is the bigger picture that you need to get down. So again, DCML decussates at the medulla, which is above, which is um, above in the brain, above the spinal cord. The spinal thalamic pathway for pain decussates immediately. Now you can pause this video if you like here, but I'm going to move on and talk about lesions. So let's uh, let's draw a uh, a really thick spi spinal cord. Let's draw a really thick spinal cord, and this is again the midline. Okay. Um, this is the midline, you know, and uh, that's the spinal cord, and you can kind of think of a person, his shoulders or her shoulders are here, and uh, his waist, or I mean his torso rather, is here. Okay, now, uh, I don't. Uh, um, let's pick a color, alright. Um, now remember, this is you know this is the left side because it's from the patient's perspective, right? So this is from the patient's perspective, and this is the right side. Now let's have a little fun, and let's say uh, I cut um, you know right here. So this is your cut. Okay, this is probably somewhere around uh, T two, your second thoracic dermatome, and you should know the dermatomes by now. Um, so definitely be able to recognize approximately where that dermatome is. All right, so if you cut the right side of the spinal cord only, remember we, we keep, we're cutting one side, we're leaving the other side spared. We cut the right side of your T2, right? And now let's think about um, what happens. So I should be pretty obvious by now that everything above the cut is unaffected. Right, so everything above the cut, both touch and pain and proprioception and everything, um, are unaffected. And again, I'm sorry for the handwriting. Um, this thing lags when I'm recording the screen. Usually, it's better than this, but sorry about that. Anyway, that says unaffected. So everything above the cut is unaffected, both touch and pain. Now below the cut, you're gonna have some problems. So let's first start out with touch. All right, let's um, you know, let's say we touch. So yeah. You know, we touch the guy here, touch this person right here at the blue, blue circle, right? Um, this touch pathway will go in to the spinal cord and it'll travel ipsilaterally up the spinal cord. Remember, it doesn't decussate to the medulla, 
So because it travels ipsilaterally, it's not going to be affected by the cut. As you can see in this diagram, it goes right past the cut, no problems. Let's talk about, so let's, that's for touch on the left side of the body. Now for touch on the right side of the body, you're going to try to go up, but then you encounter the cut. You can't go up anymore. So touch on the right side of the body is lost. Hope that makes sense right now. Now, let's invoke pain at a similar area below the cut on the right side of the body. So pain, as you recall, will decussate immediately. If it decussates immediately, it travels up the contralateral side of the spinal cord and hey look, no problems, right? Um, I hope that should be clear to you. Now let's invoke pain, you can guess what happens, on the left side of the body and this decussates immediately, tries to travel up the contralateral spinal cord, but encounters the cut and is blocked. So pain on the left side of the body is lost in this scenario. Okay, you, you can pause the video here again, di take time to digest it. I know it's a little, it might be a little confusing for you, but again, I'm going to, um, I'm going to move on. Now just a bit, so um, the last thing I want to do is summarize what happens. So um, let's, let's summarize what happens here. So let's pick a different font. Let's do, okay. So deal is, all right. Uh -huh. The deal is we cut, uh, we cut one side of the spinal cord. Now this will be placed on the screen later. Um, we cut one side of the spinal cord. We lose touch, uh, right? Now. Ipsilaterally, and uh, no, and below the cut. Okay, mm -hmm. we lose off. Uh, we lose pain contralaterally below the cut. Now I'm gonna paste place this. Okay, so that should make sense. Right? We cut one side of the spinal cord. We lose touch. So we cut. Um, you know. So sorry. Sorry. We cut the right side of the spinal cord. We're losing touch on the right side ipsilaterally. Right. We're losing pain contralaterally. We're losing pain on the left side. Okay. So the, and again below the cut, obviously, because anything above the cut is unaffected. Anyway, I hope that makes some better sense. Um, again, work through this video, work through some problems. Um, if you don't get it or, you know, feel free to email me again. But I hope this kind of makes some sense in terms of touch and pain. So the DCML and the spinal thalamic pathways. All right. Well, again, you can email me with questions and good luck on your exam.